If we could continue this game all the way, it would probably already be in the bug. At least I think so. How's the science ranking? Yeah, we are leading with 52 techs. Gilgamesh is second with 49. Georgia is third with 47. We are leading in culture somehow. We are leading... We are in second place in military. India is leading, really? Oh, not this India. Yeah. Because there are two Indias. Nuclear fission. Oh, nice. Science we stole nuclear fission boost with our spy. Mentioned. Very nice. We might still be able to get a nuke. Maybe. But we'll have to build the Manhattan Project first. 46 health. Well, we can take down the city fortification. Yep, that will do. And the city should be ours on the next turn. I don't think we can take it on this one. Or can we? Actually, yeah, we can. There, it's ours. Nice one. Obviously keep it. Okay. That was quite a successful war. And we might want to move our governor, or is loyalty fine? It's actually fine. It's rising. We can make it rise even more if we move our diplomat to Valletta. So how about we do that? Let's reassign her from Hong Kong to Valletta. We lost to envoys in Hong Kong, but that's okay. We can fix that if needed. Oh, actually, we need nine now, really. Okay, we'll fix that once we get more. Twelve out of twenty-three housing. Trader. Eiffel Tower only nine turns. That's a pretty quick Eiffel Tower. Maybe we should get one. Probably not much point. Just checking the unit list. Another spy. Can't go wrong with more spies. Actually, Monument first, because that's plus one loyalty per turn. And we can upgrade tanks to modern armor now. That's even more damage. Plus three era score. You are the world's first civilization to own a unit using this strategic resource. Right, so you get extra score from that. There's the new spy. We can spy on Gandhi. We'll probably be attacking that city. Let's send a spy to his capital. Sounds good. And that's the last great work. Let's steal another boost. We got a lot of great boosts from that one single spy. And he's unlikely to fail with 90%. Oh yeah, forgot about Alliance with Gilgamesh. Should check that out. I think someone declared war. Looks like that was city-states. That's a lot of notifications. So let's check Gilgamesh real quick. He will accept. And alliance. That was... Which one was it? Research, right? Yeah, that was research with him. What's our alliance level anyway? Let's see. 53 out of 160. 
Oh, the city-state declared war on us because it changed the suzerain. Okay. Well, that's why we have some defenses in here. For that exact reason. Not really a problem. Some artillery. Alright, let's heal up and then we can attack some more. And upgrade. There, now we have modern armor. We can also do some pillaging. Because why not? Modern AT. How well does artillery spam work? Well, it works pretty well, I would say. But you do need more than just artillery. Could use more than one artillery army around here. Instant kill. That was a pretty old unit, so I'm not exactly surprised. Okay, back to our capital. Let's grab some more artillery then. How many turns do we need to get artillery? Only seven. We could also just buy one, but that would be pretty expensive. Well, there are always things that could use improvement, but overall, it seems okay so far. I reserve my judgement for when I'm able to play through a full game from start to finish. But so far, it's definitely an improvement. I mean, don't get me wrong, I still don't like the agenda system too much, but it seems to have less of an impact. It definitely doesn't prevent you from getting alliances. Or at least, with most of the sieves. There will still be a few really annoying sieves who will hate you no matter what, it seems. Or at least they will be much more likely to hate you than anything else. I will still play modded C5, but I might play Rise and Fall as well. Again, I'd like to play through a full game first, which with this build I cannot.
Leave the so it's turn alone. 382. We got maybe about 20 turns left. We need to build the Manhattan Project. We need a high production city for that too. Oh hey, our crappy city in the north actually managed to build the industrial zone. I'm almost impressed. Okay, we'll take one more city, but first I'm waiting for artillery to go back to full health. sound though Yes, we should move the governor to Bangalore, actually. Never mind the maneuvers. And we got we'll rapid deployment. So now we'll be able to airlift once we get the relevant building. So artillery is back to full health. Now we can go and attack. Shouldn't take too long. A few turns max. I'm not giving it more than that. Let's maybe stay out of range of the encampment. There's no need to take extra damage when we don't have to. Globalization is nice for e-commerce. improvements up here other than on the crappy tundra tiles we can get one more lumber mill actually Mod for Slay the Spire that lets Twitch chat vote for what cards to take after battles. <laughs> Made by Robot Jumper, really? Okay. I don't want to try the Ascension mod, so I might give it a shot. Are there mobile sums or equivalent units in 6-6? In Civ 6, there is a mobile sum right here. That's information and support unit. Ok, 
Actually, we didn't really need to pillage that. But oh well, we did anyway. Let's move in with the machine gun army too. Yeah, might as well go that. It's extra firepower, we can definitely use that. Nine turns to build the Manhattan Project. Alright, let's do that then. Artillery army from Georgia. What are you doing over here? <laughs> She's not even close to here, but alright. Whatever floats her boat. Yeah, now we took some damage on the artillery. 21 from city center damage. But we healed up. We just need to destroy the fortification faster. This will help a little bit at least. One more turn should do it, I think. Should be enough. Back to our capital. I think it will be able to build the Manhattan Project faster. Let's compare. 97. Actually, no, it will be slower. Yeah, that city has higher production. Never mind. There's the next spy. Let's spy on Georgia a bit. Our income seems fine at the moment. Let's get some air units. We still can't get bombers. But we can get a few fighters, they will get upgraded later. It won't hurt. I wonder if Gandhi will be willing to give us this city to the east, Mathora, after we take everything on its west side and cut it off from his main territory. He should be. AI has been less willing to give me Benjamin cities Franklin may from wars in Rise and Fall so far. But it was the man. So, how about we unlock bombers? Jet bombers. Right, first we need advanced flight and radio. Alright, we'll get that. Although, it's kind of weird how you can have jet bombers without having bombers. Like, if you research stealth technology to unlock jet bomber without ever unlocking regular bomber, you can still build a jet bomber, right? Let's go for stealth technology directly. But that probably shouldn't be a thing. Like, you don't know how to build bombers, but you know how to build jet bombers. Sounds legit. Yeah, like having internet before computers. Hey, 
And another Eureka for rocket trip from our spy. A city has reached 20 population for the first time in your civilization, plus one era score. We might be able to take it already. Maybe on the next turn. Hold on, I think we can do it regardless. Yeah, easily, it's ours. Here, nice. Keep it. And loyalty is actually fine. 15.1 per turn, alright. Not a lot of pressure from nearby cities. Also, it's a 15 population city, so it's getting a lot from population. Seaport is fine, it's actually pretty good. Repair the monument. We can still get tech boosts. So that's the third city we captured in this war. We could still go for one more or we could just peace out. We don't have more than maybe 15 turns left. Despite being heavily outnumbered, our modern armor has won the day. <laughs> this seems a little bit easy to abuse. Defeated an enemy unit with a superior military formation. So all you have to do is to defeat a unit in a core with a normal unit or a unit in an army with anything weaker than an army. And you get plus one era score from that? Regardless of what these units were, because I had modern armor, he had a normal tank. That seems a little bit weird, but alright. Let's grab an aerodrome in the desert. Okay, more units incoming. No problem. He doesn't exactly stand the chance, to be honest. Oh, and his city is losing loyalty. We might be able to flip his city. Yeah, we will actually flip his city like this. So that's an interesting way to conquer enemy territory. You can cut off a city like this, and then it will flip from loyalty pressure. I didn't consider that previously. But that is a pretty good way to take cities without actually taking them. I like that. We don't even have to ask for this one in a peace treaty, it will just flip to us. Yeah, I can peace out and I will still get it. He can't really prevent it from happening. Because our free cities are applying a lot of pressure and he doesn't have any other nearby cities. And it only has 5 population. Yeah, flip a city to a conqueror. Damn right. There's another new spy. I think we'll keep him here on the counter espionage for now.
more artillery. I don't think we can move it to the front line very quickly, so... No. We'll just keep it up here. If we want more artillery, it's probably best to just buy one. What I want is a nuke. But we are still working on the Manhattan Project. We need five more turns. And then we'll have to actually build a nuke, since... You can't buy a York in Civ 6 as much as I would like to. So Maria has built a spaceport. Oh, really? All right. Plus six era score. You completed the world's first flying unit. Wait, really? Was that the first one? Okay, well, maybe it was. Plus six era score. You know, if you are in the lead in tech, you can get so much era score for being the first to do stuff. Keep in mind, you still get era score for doing these things as not the first. Also, our district got pillaged. That's not nice. And minus one amenities. Okay. Well, that's not really hard to fix. We can just build an entertainment complex. Or a water park. Actually, water park is easier. Because we can't use that tile for much of anything else. Hangar. So, rebase. Where can we rebase it? Can't rebase it just yet. At least, not quite close enough. Yeah, we have to wait. That's fine, we got the unit, that's what matters. 